uh, while watching Black Queer Abstract. Um, it was a lot to take in, especially it took like five hours for four videos. But um, they talk about um, Black artists, Black queer people who make art and who are very underappreciated, especially um, during the early years, during the 60s and 70s. Um, uh, Julie has inspired a lot of artists, especially her works, that even though it's abstract, they do still mean something. They're still different. Uh, it's just not like how, personally, I don't really get to do a lot of abstract art. And it's hard for me to understand. Most of the time, it's hard for me to do. But then behind her works, there are a lot of meanings to it um, about black slavery, black people being misplaced and mistreated. Um, I, I did kind of find it strange that there was this part about a mouse and the tasting, the five senses of the mouse, the mouse with its tongue. It, it's, I just find it weird. And honestly, with... I don't know. I just didn't really understand it as much as I wanted to. Um, also, watching and hearing um, the writers or the writers do it. Um, writers say their poems. I'm very dense with poetry, so it was really hard to understand. But yeah, there are different types of art. It's just not like paintings. There's also performance art. And like, I, I feel like there's a lot more to experience and to do and like to try other things. Um, I did like this one, the last part of Tracy Smith. Um, she did say, have we ever felt that so near as we do this here? So this was during the pandemic. So she did, she had this friend who lost her mom because of COVID and I mean, I, I get it, like, especially when the pandemic happened, you never really knew what was going to be out there after, and we're still here after two years. She also did say something about, um, above the reek of smoke, food, love, history as granular, like, rebel of, of gravel. Some scale rails, mounts to stand for a while. I think she was talking about her children um, having to, you know, be in, be people of color who live in the U.S., which, yes, there are a lot of African Americans, but there are still, like, a lot of racist people there. So, also the struggle of, without struggle like anything, the soul must sleep, rage, grieve, moving suddenly soundly through the like churn uh i've like i said i was never really a big fan of poetry because i was really dense about it and i wouldn't really understand but it did give me a lot you know hearing these words and understanding where she's coming from and what she's experienced as a a colored woman who's teaching in harvard who has written a lot of poetry books. I mean, um, it's a big deal. And honestly, I feel like a lot of colored uh, painters, artists are very un 